Joining us again on the Sunrise Morning Show is Andy Zimanitas. He's executive director of the Hellenic American Leadership Council and a member of the Board of Advisors for In Defense of Christians. Andy, welcome back to the show. Good morning, Annie. Thanks for having me. It's good to have you. Now, the chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, Committee, Senator Bob Menendez, uh, recently took a trip to Greece to, as the State Department put it, assess and advance the partnerships among the United States, Greece, and Cyprus. Now, overall, Andy, are you pleased with what was said and accomplished there? Yeah, it was, you know, especially this summer, as we in the United States are are assessing who are the allies and partners that we can rely on. Uh, the, the way Greece has stepped up in the, the last several years, dating from the last couple of years of the Obama presidency throughout the Trump presidency and now is means a lot. And that this trip happened and the honoring of Senator Menendez, uh, which also took place during this trip, happened during the bicentennial of Greece, where democracy reemerged in its birthplace. And now we see this partnership between the world's first democracy and the world's greatest democracy was was pretty special. Well, I know that a a major concern for you and for in defense of Christians, we've talked about it any number of times on the show with representatives of IDC recently, is the role of Turkey in that region. Uh, does Senator Menendez recognize that threat? Does do you think that the U.S. is is in a, a good place in terms of being clear-eyed about Turkey and, and their motives. So Senator Menendez has long recognized that threat, even when consecutive administrations were were ambiguous and not really clear in their messaging. Uh, he's recognized it so long and so clearly that uh, President Erdogan has, has uh, labeled Senator Menendez an enemy of, of, of the state in mm. Turkey. Wow. Uh, but before, but before this trip, uh, we can see that he held two hearings consecutive dates on the, on the July 20th and the 21st, a 20th, a confirmation hearing for the new assistant secretary of state for Europe, where he made Turkey, he put Turkey in the spotlight. And, and the next day he held a full hearing, the full committee had a hearing on Turkey specifically, uh, which is. I think unprecedented uh, for a, a NATO ally on paper, uh, that is, uh, to get such scrutiny. So Senator Menendez has realized not only the destabilizing and unreliable nature uh, of Turkey as an ally, but he's also tried to move for a better policy uh, and a new policy for the U.S., and one that's that's based in the region on on three democratic allies, and that's Israel, Greece, and Cyprus. I was going to ask, what is Turkey's sort of position toward Greece right now? I mean, how to what is is there a relationship? What is the relationship? Is it antagonistic? Tell us about it. Yeah, there is a relationship. You know, formally they're allies, right? They're both in NATO mm -hmm. uh, and they're neighbors. Right. There's a geography is always sure. going to force a relationship. Uh, but but Turkey, Turkey, which was once celebrated during the Obama administration for having a zero zero problems with neighbors foreign policy now has zero neighbors without which it has problems. Mm -hmm. uh, and in, in the case of Greece, there are longstanding issues, uh, for example, the occupation of Cyprus, even though Cyprus isn't. Uh, independent country. It's ethnically Greek, uh, the majority, the vast majority. So Greece feels an affinity there. Uh, you have Turkey challenging Greece's sovereignty daily in the Aegean, uh, sending military overflights into Greek airspace. Uh, and, and something that we've seen and are sensitive here in the United States with, with the various migration and refugee crises in the world, Turkey has very often weaponized refugees and migrants and tried to push them over into Greek borders uh, in order to gain political leverage on the European Union uh, for other issues. So those are just three of, of several issues. There are constant negotiations 
you know, on the Aegean, on Cyprus, even on the refugee issue. But but Turkey tries to create crises so it can it can uh, build leverage at the negotiating table, and that's just not how allies should work. Does Turkey belong in NATO anymore, Andy? Uh, well, let's put it this way: there's if Turkey was an applicant today for NATO, there's no way they'd be accepted. Wow. Uh, now there is there is no there's no mechanism in NATO to eject a member. There's ways you can, uh, in some senses, sideline them. But uh, apart from the issues with Greece, I mean, Turkey bought the Russian S-400s. Turkey, in some, in some cases, is going against U.S. policy, whether it's in Libya or Syria. Uh, it, I, it's really hard to, to look at Turkey and say that's how an, a NATO ally should act. It occupies key geography, and there were once upon a time forces in Turkey that had a Western orientation, but this Turkey under Erdogan and his coalition, and this is where we shouldn't make a mis- we, we shouldn't fall into the trap that some do that say it's just this president. He has warped Turkish politics to such an extent that we don't know that there's, that there's a majority left for a Western orientation. And what is the threat in all of this to Christians specifically? Well, as we saw uh, in Nagorno-Karabakh, we've seen this in, in Syria and, and Libya. Uh, the, and, and we see Turkey resorting to violence using, uh, and with little cost to itself, right? They're not sending their army. They're sending drones. They're sending Syrian jihadists. Uh, Christian populations have been killed and have been forced to flee for their lives in the areas that I talked to you about. Uh, in Cyprus, we have a historic play. There's historic significance for Cyprus for Christianity. It's a, the site of the first Christian mission. Uh, and the fact is they're trying to wipe out Christianity In northern Cyprus, there are very few Christians left. They're very old. There are churches that have been uh, turned into stables and and art studios and discos. And heritage, uh, people label that as a threat to Christian heritage. Christians know that the churches and iconography and all that, it's not just heritage. Those those are sacred, and they're part of, of our practice of Christianity. So... The threat uh, to the lives of Christians in the greater Middle East, to sacred Christian objects in Turkey, in Cyprus, those are those are frontline issues. And that's why the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom every year has some scathing words for Turkey. We've been talking to Andy Zemanides. He's executive director of the Hellenic American Leadership Council, which you can find at HellenicLeaders.com. He's a partner with In Defense of Christians, which is linked at sunrisemorningshow.com. Andy, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great week. 